where, where, where did these images come from? Hey, I'm not gonna lie to you, it's some pretty creepy images on the internet. You would think, hey, this is just a still image. What's so creepy about this? Looks Photoshop. Here's one video we watched, I think it was from Nexpo or it may have been Nick Crowley. I forgot, I'll leave the video here. Don't watch it to the end of the video though. Don't want you to mess up my retention. But yo, it went pretty far to an extent I did not expect for a freaking image, dog. But either way it go though, this Teletubby one on this thumbnail, yeah, it looks creepy AF. But yo, you wanna check out the original video? Link will be in the description below, but let's go. The Rake. If you've been on the horror side of the internet for even a short amount of time, there's a good chance you've heard of The Rake. The story of The Rake first emerged in the early 2000s on the online forum 4chan. Initially, it took the form of a series of anonymous posts and accounts by individuals claiming to have encountered a mysterious creature in the woods. These narratives described a humanoid creature with pale, gaunt features, long limbs, and large, soul-piercing eyes, a being known as the Rake. And even if you've never heard of the name before, there's a high chance that you've seen this <laughs> image. Uh, I've seen the image before, but I've never seen video to this mug. And even if you've never heard of the name before, there's a high chance that you've seen this image. In it, we can see some kind of creature lurking in the bottom right-hand corner of a photograph taken somewhere in a forest during the dead of night. The rake is shown with glowing white eyes and a long, skinny body. It's an image that has haunted those who have seen it. That's really trying to figure out what exactly this terrifying entity is. The image in question was reposted all over the internet, and its eerie, realistic look convinced people into thinking it was a genuine photo taken by a trail cam or something of the like. While doing research on the origins of the photograph, it turns out it was actually part of a large marketing campaign for the video game Resistance 3, which was released on September 6, 2011. In Resistance 3, there's a brief moment where players encounter a similar creature known as the Grim. The design of the Grim, with its pale and emaciated appearance, resonated with the collective imagination of the online community, leading to the adoption of the image as the visual representation of the creepypasta that is the Rake. As is common with many creepypastas, the story of the Rake quickly gained traction across various online platforms. Writers and artists expanded on the original concept, adding their own twists and adaptations to the- So is this clip right here, is this from the video game, or is this from someone's video who supposedly seen this thing? Yeah, Twice. that clip looked creepy, though. Writers and artists expanded on the original concept, adding their own twists and adaptations to the creature's mythology. The association of the rake with the image from Resistance 3 played a significant role in its widespread recognition and adoption within the online horror community. Even though the photo in question caused many people on the internet to be creeped out, it is worth noting how intriguing it is that this image essentially helped to shed a light on more creepy pastas. It's safe to assume that without the mass popularity of the rake and its image, creepy pastas wouldn't be as widely well known. Oh, Excuse damn. me, how much do you pay for? Well, damn, I had creepy no pastas idea. wouldn't be as widely well known. Teletubbies. In the late 1990s, a British children's television show burst onto the scene, captivating young viewers with its whimsical characters and vibrant world. The Teletubbies, created by Anne Wood and Andrew Davenport, became an instant sensation, captivating children and adults alike with their unique blend of educational content, imaginative storytelling, and infectious joy. Each Teletubby had its distinct appearance, personality, and color, making them easily recognizable and relatable to young viewers. Although these characters are beloved by young children around the world, there is one specific photograph of the Teletubbies that has been creeping people out, and it's not too hard to see why. The photograph in question shows a young boy sitting in some sort of hospital room surrounded by four of the main Teletubbies. However, these aren't the ordinary Teletubbies that we're used to. These ones have completely black, lifeless eyes that are absolutely horrifying to look at as the f Hey, this is the eeriest picture I've ever seen in my damn life. And if this is a hospital, I don't care. This is exactly why I never trust the Teletubbies from the first day I've ever seen that shit. I was like, nah, adults are always up to no fucking good in my eyes, dog. There's no way this could be a kid in the hospital. I was like, hey, let's bring in some, some character that I don't know that kid's like. Oh, we got the Teletubbies. And you bring in this version of the Teletubbies? Hell no. Nah. Some, man, it's is going on. And that red one However, look these crazy, aren't the ordinary boy. Teletubbies that we're used to. These ones have completely black, lifeless eyes that are absolutely horrifying to look at as the four of them stare at the camera. But what exactly is this photograph, and what's going on here? Let's examine the photo. A poster of the Dutch football star Dennis Bergkamp can be seen on the wall in the background. In light of this, it's very conceivable that this picture was taken in the Netherlands. 
It's also important to note that the image in the corner is actually a snapshot of another image. It looks to be a picture of a picture. We cannot, of course, overlook the fact that these outfits are meant to be spooky. These were designed to be disturbing, unless it appears that everything was done on purpose. Shit, mission complete. Spooky. These were designed to be disturbing, and thus it appears that everything was done on purpose. The first occurrence of this image on the internet, according to what I was able to find, refers to this Reddit post from the r slash creepy subreddit That's with the caption, as if being sick as a kid. Reddit post from the r slash creepy subreddit with the caption, as if being sick as a kid wasn't scary enough. Facts. I saw this on the wall in the children's ward of an English hospital under the name Celebrities Who Visited Us, wrote the uploader JF1984 in a comment. The uploader hasn't made a post on Reddit in almost seven years, indicating that he presumably no longer uses that account, although he still is active. Now, them be the ones that creep me out, the ones who post something real creepy and just get ghosts. Even if it blow up, like, yo, you know you can pick up all the fame from this, they don't care. Cause this shit really crazy. Man. Freaking internet. In a comment. Freaking fricker. The uploader hasn't made a post on Reddit in almost seven years, indicating that he presumably no longer uses that account. Although he still is active on other social networking sites where he goes by the name JF Doodles. When Scare Theater, a YouTuber, messaged him about the Teletubbies image, he replied that he had seen the image on the notice board in a children's hospital waiting area. Jay regrettably replies that he didn't know any further details regarding the image when he And he said he saw it under celebrities visited, right? Area. Jay regrettably replies that he didn't know any further details regarding the image when he was pressed. He said that owing to the hospital's rigorous patient confidentiality policies, he wouldn't I just read that. Ooh boy. He said that owing to the hospital I mean, but which they should be, but it just made the moment more like, ooh, nigga, some shit going on, but yeah. The details they should be the though, image though. when he was pressed. He said that owing to the hospital's rigorous patient confidentiality policies, he wouldn't be able to get in touch with them easily. Beyond this, it's difficult to uncover any more information regarding this image. Given the circumstances, we can only infer that this was a hospitalized child who was visited by these men in an effort to lift his spirits. But it's definitely safe to say that it didn't go over all that well, since what type of youngster would find themselves in a better frame of mind after seeing these four enter to surprise right. them? I'll leave all the uh, links in the description below. Smile dog. What the fuck? Those who have gone digging around for creepypastas and creepy images on the internet in the past have surely seen at least one of these- I think I've seen this before, but this is creepy as fuck. Oh boy. For creepypastas that is and creepy, creepy images dog. on the internet in the past have surely seen at least one of these three images. Oh, peep the hand too. On the bottom left. Like many other things, Smile Dog may be linked back to 4chan, in this case the X board. The image is more than 10 years old, and the earliest creepypasta article I could locate was from 2010. Many individuals have been truly disturbed by the well-known and unsettling site known as Smile.jpg. According to the legend, if someone sees the image, they will instantly feel compelled to share it with everyone they know. This is necessary because it's said he'll pay you a visit if you don't. The legend states that the dog represents a demonic creature or bad spirit. <laughs> I knew the dog really wasn't here, but it's like when someone tell you don't do something, you have to do it. So I had to look, make sure smile dog wasn't on the side of me while I make this reaction. Share my shit, dude. <laughs> the legend states that the dog represents a demonic creature or bad spirit that would purportedly torment the victim until it becomes its real form and kills them. Unless they distribute the photo, of course. <laughs> People who say they saw smile.jpg frequently faintly joke that- Technically, I shared it. Y'all watching this video, I shared it with y'all. Photo, of course. I'm People good. who say they saw smile.jpg frequently faintly joke that they were too busy to download a copy of the image on their computer. Y'all gotta share my video, or I'm gonna send smile dog at your ass. <laughs> what a black smile dude, you know you're being picked frequently too. faintly <laughs> joke that they were too busy to download a copy of the image on their computer. All supposed victims, however, provide the identical description of the image. The only background feature visible is a human hand extending from the shadows on the left side of the picture which is used to characterize the dog-like creature's appearance, which is typically described as resembling a Siberian husky. But creepypasta aside, where does this image originate from? There are really three photographs, but alas, there isn't much, if any, information available for two of them. There doesn't seem to be an explanation behind the photos, they just sort of exist. The one that appears to have been much overexposed is the one for which I do have some information. 
Feel free to post a comment below if you happen to know anything about the other two pictures. However, I do know a little bit about this one. Reddit user not hurting anymore 5678 wrote a post titled, I think I found one of the images used to make Smile Dog, with a picture of a husky. The facial features and huskies, eyes are identical when comparing the It's creepy, but I think it's howling, but man, I love huskies, man. Smile Dog, with a picture of a husky. The facial features and eyes are identical when comparing the two pictures. I have to say, it is startlingly similar to the Smile Dog picture. The only problem is that the dog in the image is obviously not in front of a red curtain. A Reddit user named Ice Cream Guy posted a comment revealing that he had found the curtain background used in the photo. As you can see, in the image the ears have also been clearly cropped off. They would simply need to crop out the dog while only going around its head, position it in front of a crimson curtain background, and then apply the eerie effects to it. But that's pretty much all we know. We know nothing about the image's creator and only have little information on one of the three photos. In time, we'll hopefully find more information regarding the other Smile Dog photos that, as of right now- Hey, that's how I'm tripping. Did he call this out? But don't just look like the top of a girl head, like hair hanging down in her hand, throwing up the peace sign almost or something? Like somebody going like this? Unless I'm tripping, I don't know. Like a hand, I don't know, though. Hey, the internet be digging, though, man. They found, how the hell you find the curtains? <laughs> That dumb hoes from Ross. We know nothing about the image's creator <laughs> and only have little information on one of the three photos. In time, we'll hopefully find more information regarding the other Smile Dog photos that, as of right now, remain incredibly mysterious. The third image looks kind of normal. We'll hopefully to me. find more information regarding the other Smile Dog photos that, as of right now, remain incredibly mysterious. Mickey Mouse Basement. Mickey Mouse, the iconic cartoon character created by Walt Disney, has captivated the hearts of children around the world for decades. With his infectious charm, playful nature, and timeless appeal, Mickey Mouse has become a beloved figure in popular culture. Despite this, though, there is a particular image on the internet of this iconic character portrayed in a rather distressing way. The photograph in question shows an old, dilapidated basement that has certainly seen better days. That's definitely a creepy picture, mostly because the basement. Any costume down here is gonna look terrifying. Hell, nobody down here is gonna look terrifying. And peering around a corner in the distance is a man dressed up in an extremely frightening, eerie Mickey Mouse costume. The man's mask also seems to be a bit squished in, which adds to the nightmare fuel that's already heavily present. It looks to be something you'd see out of a horror movie. It should be mentioned that there was also a very similar photo that circulated online, oh, which showed someone <laughs> pointing a gun at the man dressed as Mickey. But it turned out this was just a convincing photoshopped version of the original image. Convincing? By doing a bit of research on the internet relating to this picture, you'll find that there really isn't a lot of information out there regarding the backstory or origins of it, or even what exactly is going on in it. However, there are some people online who have their theories about what's going on. A Reddit user by the name of Real Show posted to the r slash out of the loop subreddit asking his fellow Redditors what exactly the photograph is, who took it, etc. Another Reddit user replied to the post stating, It's just a cursed photo using creepypastas and memes, just like all cursed photos. <laughs> Probably some dudes just kidding. One encountered a dirty Mickey Mouse suit and decided to take a photo of himself in it in an abandoned looking place That's to make a thinking. scary photo. A lot of the comments seem to echo that theory, which, if true, is a sigh of relief. If this is not the case, however, then what exactly is going on in this extremely weird and unexplainable image? We don't Is this know. just some guy messing around in a Mickey Mouse outfit in an attempt to scare the internet? Or was this something far more sinister? We'll likely never know. Stairs in the Woods Reddit user Search and Rescue Woods posted a tale on August 25th, 2015, which stated a whole frenzy. Strange staircases seem to be appearing everywhere in the woods. Appearing. As soon as the article appeared on Reddit, additional people jumped in to comment and add their own tales, giving the phenomenon more uh, At first it got to creep me out because I thought there was just really some random forest with woods there. I mean, with uh, stairs there. But they're appearing. I take it people are just starting to add them their, their sales now. But what could trip me out though, because <clears throat> what if there is one original one that really did mean something, but since everybody had to ki ki hee ha ha around it, now, it's, now we are confused. Like we really had, we really had some answer, an uh, answer to something here. No, I know we did. I'm just talking shit. But what if we did really have an answer to something here? No, we did. <laughs> article appeared on Reddit. Additional people jumped in to comment and add their own tales, <clears throat> giving the phenomenon more credibility. But is it true or is it a hoax? Numerous blogs and communities, including Reddit, have spread the tale, which has since grown to the status of something of an online legend. The text of the original post is as follows. 
Now, I don't know if this is true in every SAR unit, but in mine, it's sort of an unspoken, regular thing we run into. You can try asking about it with other SAR officers, but even if they know what you're talking about, they probably won't say anything about it. We've been told not to talk about it by our superiors, and at this point, we've all gotten so used to it that it doesn't even seem weird anymore. On just about every case where we're really far off in the wilderness, I'm talking 30 or 40 miles, at some point we'll find a staircase in the middle of the woods. It's almost like if you took the staircase in your house, cut them out, and put them in the forest. I asked about it the first time I saw some, and the other officer just told me not to worry about it, that it was normal. Everyone I asked said the same thing. I wanted to check them out, but I was told very emphatically that I should never go near any of them. I just sort of ignore them now when I run into them because it happens so frequently. It's interesting to note that this was not merely something that came from a creepypasta. Broadcast two months- Yeah, this one is creepy. I ain't gonna lie to you, dog. This one is really creepy. The thing that's mostly getting me is the amount of stories that we have with people mysteriously vanishing when it comes to the forest, mountains, the sea, ish like that, whatever, dog. And the stories you kind of get behind them with, with just the clues that were left behind, because I know it's not full, but what, what we do have, it's like, no, there's no way this is adding up. This doesn't happen. This is not real. So therefore, my mind is kind of in true crime mode a little bit. So seeing these stairs, I'm just like, damn, what if they forgot to roll them back down? Or I don't know, a glitch happened. I, I, I don't know. I'm just, I don't know, man. I, they, I don't think they mean anything. Interesting to note that this was not merely something that came from a creepypasta. Broadcast two months before the initial creepypasta, a WLOS News 13 film investigated the same idea. But let's get into the actual origins of this photo. It turns out that this was a massive art project by a man named Bruce Allen who okay, constructed good. this in 1988. Allen stated, I was overwhelmed by the scale, energy, and presence of the trees, and spent several days tramping through Beechenhurst on and off the paths looking at what was there, getting a feeling of the place, and wondering how my own ideas might fit in. I took along with me the knowledge that globally, forests and jungles are being stripped, exploited for timber, and cleared for farming. However, despite the historical exploitation that has happened in the Dean, mining of iron ore and coal, felling trees for timber, shipbuilding, and charcoal, there exists in the forest an intimacy peculiar to no other place that I know. Based on the design of their earliest astronomical observations in India, Bruce Allen created the observatory, a straightforward artwork that consists of a stairway that leads nowhere. It was painted black to contrast with the light and vibrancy of the forest, which was situated near a protected pond in a region of trees bordered by a thicker plantation. Visitors may halt and take in the woodland from an observation platform at the top of the staircase and a little alcove under the stairs. The sculpture was just some innocent art project used by people online as the face of a creepypasta. Nowadays, the sculpture has since been decommissioned. There's no remaining trace of it in the real world today. Dang, it was actually pretty dope. Once I understood the whole idea, of course, but yo, this freaking Teletubby one, that one weirded me out because looking at it, and again, like he said, it was a picture of a picture, basically, man, but... Everything about this looks like something legit, like this all legit happened in that room. And it, I can't really read the kid's face. Like, it doesn't really say, hey, I need help or anything. It doesn't say distress, but it just kind of says, I don't care. But regardless, that is weird AF. And like you said, though, hey, this is forever old when he took this picture. And you can't get no information anyway, so don't even waste your time. But either way it go, though, I'm about to go ahead and get up out of here. Hey, you go ahead. Enjoy your day, your morning, your evening, your night. Do me a favor, click that like button. I appreciate it, but I'm out.